Okay y'all, so it's that time of the month again. It is TBR time and this time it's for the month of March. February went by very fast. It was very busy, but it was ooh, my hair. But it was a fairly successful reading month and Black History reading month. And I will be doing my wrap ups at the end of each season. So I'll you have to go down. You do. Love you. So I will be doing my winter wrap up at the end of March, my spring wrap up at the end of May, and my summer wrap up at the end of August, so forth and so on. But without further ado, let me grab the TBR jar. Here we go with my handy dandy TBR jar. Let's reach inside and see what selections for March will be. Why is it every time I forget how this jar is actually opened? I swear. Ooh, let's not break the jar. Okay, let me scramble these around, scramble these around. Ha, got one. Binti. Hmm, okay. So Binti is, I think, a sci-fi fictional, I don't know, I, I want to say it's an adult novel by a Nigerian author. I believe she's independently published, but I'm not 100% sure. I have been eyeing her books now for years on Amazon and they've gained recent popularity. So, well, you know, as popular as a smaller author can be just from like buzz and word of mouth and, you know, things like that from the online and blogging community. So I'm super excited to support this author. Next. All right, and I have Americana. I don't know why I said it like that. Americana. There we go. That's better. There it is by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Ah, so excited. I never know how many books to choose. Seriously. No, let's go to the big one. Ooh. Bel, ah, Bel Canto. This was on my like books I want to read in 2018 list. So super excited. Super excited. And I think I'll go with two more from the jar. Okay, Station Eleven by, what's the name of these, this author? Emily St. John Mandel. There we go. I don't know if I own that one. I don't think I do, but did I buy it from Book Outlet? I'll have to double check. And then last but certainly not least, let me go from the bottom of the jar. Here we go. The Bronze Horseman series. Do I want to read the entire series? I've read the first book, The Bronze Horseman, and I just recently purchased the second book. Was it the second and third? Honestly, I can never remember anything. So I've read The Bronze Horseman years ago, back in 2010, so this will be a reread, and I've been wanting to finish the series. I never completed it. I have The Summer Garden. I feel like this is book three, so I just need to collect the other two books in the series. But yeah, March TBR, it's looking pretty good. So here they are, the three physical books I actually do own, and then there are three books that I will need to purchase. Binti, Station Eleven, and Bel Canto. But yes, so I think that's a good number of books for March. I don't want to push myself. Plus, I have a lot of like highly anticipated releases coming out in March that I know I'm going to want to read, so I want to kind of save some space for those. And you guys will see how I feel about all of my winter reads in my winter wrap-up at the end of this month. Wish me happy reading, y'all. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Let's be honest. February was consumed with me seeing Black Panther numerous times in the theater. First at IMAX, then in 3D. And in a few weeks, I'm going to see it in IMAX and 3D. I've been very busy. My life is very full. Wakanda forever. And out. No librarian is able to fully immerse themselves in every single novel, whether nonfiction or fiction, in the great library that they serve diligently. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, let's look at it like this. A big part of a librarian's job is basically to know what books are hot, right? 
to know what books are coming out, to know what books people like in all age groups, across all genres, across all creeds, nationalities, groups of people. Okay, so the 9 to 12 year olds are really loving these books right now. Twilight, it's popping, everyone's loving it. They may have never read the Twilight books. They may never pick up a Twilight novel. They may not give a shit. They may be like, yo, I read a couple pages and it's trash. But guess what? We've noticed the kids in this age bracket are really enjoying this. It's always on the wait list. It's always been